Thanks for tuning back in. This is Amir Dabolka from Exploring Excel. You can email me at exploringofficeexcel at gmail.com. This is video number 42. Commands not in the ribbon. Part 1. Let's move on to our sheet. Okay. Now in this tutorial, I am going to show you what are the commands which are not inside the ribbon. This is video number 1. I will keep on updating the other videos regarding several commands not in the ribbon like split cells, form control, camera tool, visible cell and so on. Do keep watching my all other videos. Now, how, now the question here, what are these commands not in the ribbon? These are the commands which are not accessible in any of the readers like home tab, insert tab, page layout tab, data tab and all these tabs. You cannot find this easily. But they are inside the excel. Now how is this possible that they are inside an excel but not in the ribbon? Yeah, it is possible. Some of the older features like it was there in Excel 2003, Alt DP to open a pivot table wizard. But now it is of no use by adding and recommended pivot tables. Also the recommended pivot. Also by adding recommended charts. So there is no need of a pivot table wizard. But still, some the beginner of the pivot table needs this wizard. So how can you access this wizard? Simply by just clicking a sh uh, keyboard shortcut, I just here three methods to add. Like first is to access through a keyboard shortcut. The second method is to go into option and go into the quick access toolbar. And third one is adding into the tabs. You can also add it to the quick access toolbar here. And then there is one example over here. What are this means? So now by pressing the keyboard shortcut, I will just press Alt T P. Oh, this is the same. Pivot table we just step 1 out of 3 which was there in Excel 2003 and earlier version. Now you can access this in just uh, in the same manner which was there in 2003. There is also one more keyboard shortcut at Earl DO to open a form control. I will talk to you in later videos in form control part. Now the second part is you can just go to the Excel option and add, add into the quick access toolbar like going to file options going to the customize the ribbon then you can just select customize the ribbon you can add it to tabs but now I need customize the quick access toolbar selecting commands which are not in the ribbon select the commands which you want I will select any of them and press F F is a form control wizard I will just click on the add and it gets added I will also select something else if you need uh, like close all workbooks is also there there are many of the command like speak cell stop speaking cell i'm just discussing it later okay so this command gets added over here now how to add into your tabs now this i have done self uh, this in the commands tab this is not there basically this is a uh, this is a custom tab which is called as custom tab Miss, it is not in any of the ribbon, but it is there in my tab. This is called as command tab. In this command tab, I have just added some of the commands which are not in the ribbon and are some of the speak cell facilities. All these are not inside the ribbon. Now, there is one thing with the split cells, then form, camera, close all, select visible cells, calculator, speak cell, stop speaking cell, by column, by row, on enter. These are the three parameters needed. Now, I will discuss all of these commands which are not in the ribbon in the later video. So, do keep watching the videos which you like. Okay. So, now, what happens, how to add these commands into the tabs. Now, I will show you how, just pre right clicking and just clicking to the customize the ribbon. You get automatically the Excel options and the customize the ribbon option. Now, it was very bit first frustrating that it Excel 2010, 7 and previous version does not have this, uh, this um, customizing the ribbon option. But now in Excel 2013, finally they have improved and added a customize the ribbon option, which is very very interesting and easy to learn. Now I have just added a commands tab. You can add a new tab, and inside a new tab, I have added two groups. The group one is the commands which are not in the ribbon. Inside the groups, I have added some several uh, uh, commands. Okay, so now basically you uh, must need a single group to add a different type of command. 
or else you know no groups and you can add different commands inside that and I add another group for this Y commands and you can rename it as easily as possible by just clicking by rename you can just name it by the calculator and you can just select any of the following which you need if you need a timer or anything else okay same thing you can do for the quick access toolbar well, as an adding to the quick access toolbar, you can add to the customize the ribbon. Now, after I to customize the ribbon, what is the advantage? Now, I can use my own custom shortcuts. I'm just uh, making this uh, ribbon big. Now, selecting this, I want to merge all the cell. I will just use a keyboard shortcut. Alt H M C. Alt H M C. This is a basic keyboard shortcut to merge the cells. Now, Control Z. Now, uh, this is a basic keyboard shortcut. Alt H M and C. When you select this C, it will automatically get merged. This is basically from going to the Home tab and all this. Now, after adding to the uh, Commands tab, I can just easily, uh, easily you can just split the cells like. Alt H M C, Alt H M C. I just merge the cells, and now I want to split this merge cell. The Excel does not provide any option to split this merge cell. I can only get a merge cells. But if we have some values, I can just select the cell, and I can simply go to Alt Y and Y one and Y one. It splits the cells. Oops, Alt. Y Alt Y Y2 it should be Y2 not Y1 uh, then this keyboard shortcuts are different in, for the different uh, Excel like if you make another tab it will be something Z or etc now there's a note when you add a command to the tabs or the access to the shortcuts you can the shortcuts are different in every Excel if I am using the Excel, it's Alt Y Y2. If you are using the Excel, it should be Alt Z X2 and something else. So this was the basically the end of the video of the commands not in the ribbon. Okay, do keep watching my other videos regarding uh, this uh, commands which are not in the inside the ribbon. And subscribe my YouTube channel and have a great day and enjoy the videos which I post. And so thanks for watching.